These are the most unbelievable history facts that sound made up. Number 8. Mary Toff in 1726, a woman named Mary Toft was in a field living her day-to-day -day life, when all of a sudden, the first rabbit she'd ever seen jumped in front of her and scared her. Mary said from this point on, she had a strong desire to eat rabbits, but um, instead of eating rabbits, she decided to give birth to them. John Howard was an obstetrician and was somehow convinced by her story. Later that same year, Mary went into labor and was visited by King George I's doctor. When his doctor arrived, Mary was in labor with her 15th dead rabbit, so he decided to take a few of her offspring to King George. Then a surgeon from the royal household was sent to have a look at the offspring, and after further examination, he found corn in the dead rabbit's stomach, proving it wasn't developed inside of Mary Toff's womb. Later, Mary was forced to admit that she manually inserted the rabbits and other objects such as cat's legs and hog's bladder into herself. Then she was charged with fraud and sent to jail for a few months. Number 7. Animal Welfare in Nazi Germany Hitler and the Nazis were obviously bad and did unforgiving things, but he was also an animal rights activist. The Nazi party destroyed millions of human lives, and they also introduced the current animal welfare laws in Germany. This isn't me saying they were good people, but it is interesting. And recent studies show a Nazi propaganda minister named Joseph wrote in his private diary that Hitler was a vegetarian and environmentalist that just hated the Jewish religion, which is partially true. He did become a self-proclaimed vegetarian in 1942, however, he still ate meat. And as far as an environmentalist goes, that was probably self-proclaimed as well. But the one true thing in Joseph's journal was that Hitler did hate the Jewish religion. Number 6. The Murderous Pig During medieval Europe times, this pig was sent to court after being arrested. On a cool night in Normandy, a three-month-old baby named Jean was left unattended and spotted by a pig. Unfortunately, the pig was quite hungry that night and saw Jean as a meal. So the pig strategically made its way over and sadly mauled the baby's face. Jean's parents caught the pig in action and like anyone would, called the authorities and had it arrested. Yes, the pig was actually arrested. What's even crazier is the pig was then sent to jail and awaited its trial with the other prisoners. On the pig's court date, she was even given a lawyer who lost the case after the owner of the pig testified against it. The judge ordered the pig to a public hanging and told the town to bring their animals to watch. On the day of the hanging, all the people and animals stood around and watched the pig walk out wearing a human costume that included a waistcoat, gloves, pants, and a makeshift human mask. And well, the rest was history. Number 5. The Bear Who Joined the Polish Army In 1939, Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union invaded Poland, but Britain was able to fight back and release the Polish people. However, it was agreed that the freed people would form into a military unit most known as the Anders Army, then get sent through the Middle East and into the British command. Despite losing countless soldiers on this journey, due to hunger and exhaustion, one Polish officer decided to buy an infant bear at an Iranian train station which was later drafted into their army. The bear was named Wojtek and grew up with the true soldier's diet of beer, cigarettes, and morning coffee. Later in 1944, Wojtek's unit was transferred to Italy, but there was one small issue being that the British regulations forbid pets and mascots from traveling. So during this time of war, there was only one right answer. Lacey Davidson, here, Colin Smith, present, Wojtek Bearsley, <sighs> the one and only. Yup. Instead of leaving him behind, they enlisted him as an active military personnel. When Wojtek got to Italy, he was being fed just as much as soldiers and was 200 pounds of pure muscle. He was known to carry entire crates of artillery shells and stack ammunition crates in preparation for war. Not only that, but he was promoted to the rank of corporal and he was also adopted as the official emblem of the 22nd Artillery Supply Command. Number 4. The Original Avengers If you thought the original Avengers were super heroes, you're right. But the original Avengers were a group of 50 Jewish guys that hunted Nazis. This group was known as Nomi, which translates to Avengers in English. After living in ghettos and encampments, the Avengers decided they wouldn't let their tormentors get away with a slap on the wrist. And the leader of the group, Alba Kovner, sought to kill 6 million Germans in return. So he riled a small army of Jewish guys seeking an eye for an eye, and told them that they would leave to infiltrate the water system of the Nuremberg as as soon as possible. But 
Upon arrival, they were stopped and arrested. Still obsessed with revenge, he got to the United States and planned to kill German World War II prisoners by poisoning their loaves of bread. This time, though, his plan worked, and he poisoned over 2,000 Nazis. After this, the group stayed together, not saying a word about their actions. However, in the 1980s, they revealed themselves and stated the Germans deserved it, and all their group wanted was recognition, not forgiveness. The investigation against no meme in the early 2000s was stopped due to unusual circumstances. And in 2019, four of their members were reported to be alive still. Number three, weird ancient medicine. Throughout history, there's been a handful of medical procedures that bring up logical questions. One being animal poop ointment. Donkey, dog, gazelle, and fly poop were all celebrated for their healing properties and their ability to ward off bad spirits in ancient Egypt. For the time period, they had a greatly advanced medical system, but this technique was anything but advanced. As a matter of fact, I'd even say this one put themselves back a few thousand years. Now, the science behind this wasn't completely wrong, because recent studies do show some animal feces have antibiotic properties, but that's only if you don't get E. coli, hookworm, hydida disease, yersiniosis, psittacosis, soil transmitted helmet infection, or tetanus. That being said, I personally wouldn't rub poop on my skin. Number two, the Titanic coincidence. I'm sure everyone knows about the Titanic from the movie, but there was a book before the movie titled Futility by Morgan Robertson. Now the wildest part of all is Robertson wrote this book 14 years before the Titanic ever touched the water. The book was about a fictional steamboat that was the largest of its time and moved just as fast as any other boat. Robertson writes about the boat crashing into an iceberg and killing nearly everyone on board due to the lack of lifeboats. And the name of his fictional steamboat was the Titan. Once the Titanic sinking took place, Robertson republished his book as The Wreck of the Titan to shed light on his accidental prediction. Number 1. Henry Zieglin For 20 years, Henry Zieglin thought he was one of the luckiest guys in the world. He was in a long-term relationship with his girlfriend named Macy Tishner, but throughout their relationship, he was successfully cheating on her without getting caught. This isn't why he thought he was lucky, and at some point he felt extremely guilty, so he ended up telling Macy and then breaking up with her. Macy was wasn't prepared for this heartbreak and ended up taking her own life. And when Macy's brother found out, he went to Henry's house and tried to shoot him. But the bullet went right past Henry's face and hit the tree next to him instead. 20 years later, Henry was out cutting trees with his son and showed him the tree with the bullet in it while he told the story. Later that day, when his son went to bed, instead of cutting down the tree like all the other ones, he decided to blow it up with dynamite. He placed the dynamite by the tree, lit the fuse, and walked 50 yards away. But when the tree exploded, it fired the bullet out of the tree and it hit Henry in the head, killing him instantly. Thanks for all the support on my first and last video, which you can watch right here, and help me reach 100k by hitting subscribe.